My friends, welcome to Distant Worlds Universe. Uh, we are going to get started this episode by, yes, doing more designs. I was actually looking at my uh, spaceports in order to see what it is that we could be doing. Now, I added uh, the defense ionized cannon. Everything is on all weapons. And it's like, well, what else could I add? Now, considering we have barely enough power... We will be adding more, uh, more power, so more uh, reactors and definitely more weapons. Considering our firepower is only at 128, and I have ships that <laughs> do more than that. Uh, I think it's a mistake not to uh, not to increase my weapons quite drastically. So let's take a quick look in names. Everything should be under weapons. Let's at least bring everything up to 20. It will increase my maintenance, uh, but I think it's not too bad. It isn't too bad. Uh, also, what I need to add is a defensive auto cannons. I think they're quite, quite important for any station. So that will definitely be doing so. We can actually take down these small fighters and missiles that are heading towards our base. So survivability is going to be a lot better. Uh, let's take a look. Where are... That's the one thing with all of this added. Um, I'm completely at a loss on where all of the, the modules are. Uh, there we go. So 6, 7, 8. This would actually be enough. I like that. Now we have a, a, a massive amount of cargo space here. And... Yeah. We have a massive amount of cargo space. And medical center, recreation, that's all good. Uh, we have some energy storage. Now, I have an idea on, on my mining stations. And I definitely want to be increasing my storage there. But I'm thinking 14,000. Yeah, that, that's, that's a bit heavy. That is a bit heavy. So, let's bring it down to 7,000. Since these are all over like colonies, and uh, hey, with the return of, um, <clears throat> sorry for that, with the return of Larry Monte and his video, so if you weren't aware yet, uh, you can check out his channel again, he is starting a new series, uh, he's actually saying that the cargo capacity you could also get from your colonies, I wasn't aware of that, uh, but now that I am, it, it definitely changes a few things, right? So let's bring you down to 6 as well, and let's take a look. So, the standard armor defense. Did I add the defensive thing? Not sure. Yes, I did. I don't need... I don't think this will do anything. At least I don't... See a lot of things changing. Uh, auto cannons. It's 20. Let's get it by name. So, at least my weapons are together... 25, um, sure, why not? Uh, we could also start adding ionized weapons. Mm, we have the real gun, we could add blasters. But yeah, 275, it, it is enough for now. It's... Uh, yeah, it, it, it isn't a lot at all. But I think it's um, enough for now. So let's take a quick look on cargo capacity... Here we go. Let's just keep this at 15. Now, as for power, that's shields. Where's my power? There's my power. At uh, 5. Ah, that actually works out quite well. So let's save this one. Uh, large spaceport I've not been using at all. Uh, I don't think I am going to use. Hmm. Not a lot of cargo, but I'm okay with that. Uh, the boarding strength is quite low. And these bases do... Well, they are always on their own. So that's why I would like to well, desperately increase this. Let's make sure we got this all up the same. So defenses, we definitely need that. Did we add all of the others? Yes, there we go. ECCM and ECM, which is quite nice. Armor is okay-ish. It's not a lot. Uh, we have some fighters, which is 
very nice. Where's my weapons? Do I have enough point defense? No. Let's bring you up to 20. And I will bring all of these to 15. So this is probably the, the strongest station I will be having in terms of firepower. Let's see, we need definitely, we need more fusion reactors. There we go, That that is sufficient. Some life and some habitability. Actually, is this the one that brings up border? No. It's the other one. Let's bring this one back. So, living quarters also brings up your boarding defense. And that is quite nice. Eventually, I want to increase this enough so we can withstand the fleet. But let's save this one for now. Energy. I don't think I'll be adding a lot to this apart from the, uh, the, the, the iron defense. If it's just for ships that use this, I guess. I wonder how many you would need. It is a defensive thing. Do do I need like twenty of them? I don't. I don't know. I really don't. Uh, firepower isn't the greatest. We have some fighters. I want to keep them on there. As for that, I don't think I want to change anything else. So let's just upgrade manually. Upgrade and get the iron defense in there. Uh, the colony base, and we were going to look for a defensive base, and I think this is uh, it is a good, good time to do that. Uh, colony de uh, growth base. I would desperately need to increase the firepower because we place these at colonies that do have a star base, but it would kind of be bad if this was taken out, and the colony would be lost because I did not forget, uh, I didn't add enough defenses. So here we go. Let's add. About 20 of those. Um, don't need too much though. 20. And let's get some Maxis Blasters in there as well. 20. Tray 40. That's a nice amount. I like that. Uh, maintenance will go up, but we are making a shit ton of money. So, <laughs> hey. Do we care? I don't. Uh, let's bring this one down. There we go, habitability in life. Let's bring this to 10, 280. All of this is standing okay. Now, if you see me doing things that are just whack, and you say, no, Dad, you should have done this another way, do, do let me know, do let me know. Uh, oh, wow, we have a lot to add over here. So, our defensive bases, um, let's see. Shields, we don't have any. So 20 is my normal, but this time I'm going for 30. And that's just the first step. Let's add 30 defense cannons. We need the iron defense. We're going to be adding a lot of shields. Um, yeah, uh, I think 100 is more than enough. Do we have docking bays? Do we need docking bays? I don't think so. Uh, the targeting, we need countermeasures. I would really like to get a good amount of fighters in there. Uh, movement we don't need. Oh, definitely we'll need a lot more power than we're having currently. We don't need research. Mm, do we have enough cargo bay? Well, probably. We have a docking bay, so that is quite nice. Uh, at least we can resupply our base then. Proximity sensors. Didn't I, did I add these to the others? I don't know. <laughs> it would be bad if I didn't. Oh well. Oh well. Do we need a troop transport? No, we're not placing troops in here. So, weapons. We already have 30 on here. Let's add 10. 30. And we'll add another 30 missiles. A firepower of 710. And we are not going to be make too many of these. So, yeah. We may better make it worth it. Uh, boarding strength is way too low. But we'll have to change this. Mm. There we go. Up to 14 at the minimum. But I would like to bring this... Um, 
up to 700. Boarding strength of 700. This base will go down fighting. Let's put everything on stand on all weapons. So all of the weapons start shooting at the moment something is happening. And this is going to be gorgeous. Energy, yeah, I would like to. I would like to gain, but you know I don't have that kind of stuff. So it's far from our private ships. Let's make sure we uh, select all of you. Auto upgrade. And I will be adding the defense. I don't think I would be adding anywhere, anything else. Everything is on evade. You have some basic stuff to help you evade. Hmm. We could add more cargo. We could, but I don't really see the point. Let's take a quick look at their movement because that is quite low. It's just 10 and most of my ships already run a lot higher. I would like to have these um, a bit faster. 10 and 25, 420, fuel capacity, do we want to change this up to 10? Let's do that. Let's do a bit of life and habitability. So 10, 10, 25, yeah that should be more than enough. Manually upgrade this, actually I don't want to, let's do, do adding. Oh, okay, never mind. Here we go. We have 38 of these, which is very nice. Mm, here we go. 25. Up to 10. There should be more. These guys are going to be fast. And I like that. I would like to have these the fastest as possible. Because uh, they run my economy. And losing that would be horrible. Let's add the defensive. Did I add the EPM stuff? Like the countermeasure systems? I did. Let's save it. And actually, no, we have 25. Oh, no, no, that's not true. There are 25 of this design. So the large freighters. So let's manually add more. Here you go. 25. Ten. These are bulky, they're, they're large, so they will now have the most range of all of the ships that are currently in my empire. I was going to say my fleet, but these aren't technically mine. So I don't care about names. Let's see, this all should be working out quite fine. Passenger ships, manually upgrade. I don't have the menu. Oh, actually, we have nine. Wow. Didn't think that was going to happen. So there you go, up to 25. We have the warp field bubble. Uh, up to 10. Defenses. There we go. Oh, the gas mining. Oh boy. Ah, the cargo capacity is quite low. And we have gas and luxury. I want to take a look at that. I would actually like to increase this. Like this. So, three on three. And I note that the power is going to be a bit low. At least I think this number just dropped down. Yes, it did. So, we, we were definitely needed to add more, more of that. Let us increase the... Where are you? Of course it's up. It's always where I can't see anything, right? That's up to five. And we need some life. We need some habitability. And we need to make this thing a lot better. 25. Up to 10. The defenses. Countermeasures. Yeah, it's, it's starting to look quite okay. I like it so far. There we go. It's going to be somewhat expensive, but I'm thinking it's going to be well well worth it. So, cargo capacity up to 5. Let's add 2 of these right now. The other one was a gas miner, right? Yeah, this is just a regular mining ship. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to do that. Oh, we desperately need more power. 
There we go. Looks a lot better now. Up to 10. And did I add the one thing? No, I didn't. There we go. So let's save. The so let's take another look at here at this gas miner. Oh yeah, mining extractor and luxuries extractor. That's quite nice. I like it. As for my private bases, there is definitely a change that I would like to do. Now the cargo capacity is quite large and I like that. Let's add up to three on these as well. Otherwise my regular miners would be a lot better. Uh, but we need, uh, we need to add more defense. Um, let's see. Countermeasures are all on here. Defensive need to be on. Hmm... Do we have fighters? No, but we're going to. Let's start at the top. Uh, construction, crew, defense, auto cannons. It's at 10. Already added that. Don't need any more. Docking bays. How many docking bays do we have? Let's see. We have 9. Let's bring it up to 10. Uh, this is my gas miner, so this is actually a refueling station. So it's a, it's quite important that we have at least a bit of docking areas. Let's add five of those. Oh wow, this is going to be extremely expensive. Uh, but still, still, it is going to be well worth it. We want to add up to ten on weapons. We want this thing to pack a bit of a punch. I don't want to lose it anytime soon. So here we go. We got uh, short, mid and long range. There we go. Gas mining station. Yeah, I think it's going to be quite nice. Reactive armor strength. That is in, in definitely interesting. Fuel capacity, look at energy storage. I don't think this has anything to do by refueling. God, I hope it isn't about refueling. Let me know in the comment section if it is. Because if it is, uh, we need to add a bunch of, uh, of fuel capacity to these things. Uh, but for now, let's not. Did I automatically upgrade you? No, I didn't. Now, same goes for you. Uh, auto cannons. Ionized defense. Let's bring up to 10. Not that we need it, but it's more so our transports can massively dock over there. Yeah, I don't think actually it's needed, but then again. What do I know? We have all of these. Let's add five fighter base. How many gas extraction do we have? And miners, there we go. We don't need movement, that would be awkward. Oh, did I add power? Oh, we have to go back. Don't think I did. Uh, do we have a proximity sensor? Yes, we do. So we got weapons. No, that's too much. And let's go with the Maxis Blasters as well. 170, that, that's just... That will take down a, a fighter at least. Point blank, that is not good. There you go. Habitability in life. And now we'll have to add power. And have to go back to the other one. Since uh, 428. Here we go. Yeah, that is a lot better. Gas miner. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that I go back. All weapons. And where's my power? There you go. Yeah, that's enough. Add one of each. Boarding strength isn't too high, but um, I could make my stations way too expensive, even for my taste. So that there we go. Uh, the only thing we're not using yet is the large station. Eventually we will. Uh, but not right now. So before I end this episode up, it's going to be time. Uh, let's go by roll. And this is uh, a medium one. So retrofit you to the medium spaceport. Let's retrofit you to the small spaceport. Anything else? No, those are just planets. Um, 
the other one is a regular base. We don't have colony ship, defensive base, exploration ships we already did. Freighters, they will do themselves. Military ships we did. These are being constructed and this one is having a rough time. Hmm. They had a Mark 7. So he is of the latest design. So he has two... Two weapons. That... That should not be right. There's a lot more. Um, okay, let's remember this one. We'll get back to it. Uh, mining ships. Do I need to manually upgrade these? No, they're private sectors. Mining stations, however, I would like to do. Otherwise, they will not be done. This is going to be 100,000. And I should have more than enfough retrofit and that's design and uh, we'll take a look at my financial financial situation passenger ships we don't have to change other bases here we go and uh, let's uh, retrofit you into the other base uh, research stations i wish i could just press retrofit and it would just select the latest design that would be very very nice Let's get that all done. Uh, resort bases. We have two, but it looks of things. Can't remember if I changed those. I uh, probably did. Uh, resupply ship spaceports. Do we have any others? These I already uh, was going to retrofit. Troop transports and the others we don't. So there we go. We are retrofitting everything. In the next episode, we're going to be uh, looking. Let's unpause so we know the whole financial situation is still gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you did. It's uh, it's a bit of a... Um, it's been two episodes of redesigns. I'm hoping you're okay with that. If not, let me know in the comment section. I will do those things off camera. But I think redesigning and designing is a, is a big part of Distant World Universe. So I don't want to uh, take that away from you. Now, we are going to be preparing, I guess, for war. At least that is something that I am extremely interested in and uh, look like we are already stronger than they are <laughs> ah, which is good okay let's do it for the fun of things there is one thing that i need to be doing and that is adding a new name let's see what shall we be adding let's go by roll um yeah okay here we go ambassador um kemi 252 welcome to the teammate hope you're enjoying I think that's all for now yeah and let's send these guys let's cancel your mission you're going back and you're going to be trying to uh, let's take some territorial maps and 91 percent which is nice uh, ultimate toby you you as well please don't die um larry actually gave a comment about uh, them not being able to die since they are uh, youtubing so i i agree but we need to level this guy up even though yeah, look at this. Espionage is negative 10. We might as well just use you to sabotage construction. I think that's even uh, a more... Look at this. It's 100%. Let's go. A one month and just upgrade all of that. As for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.